He's been dubbed the sexiest man alive by people in Espanol two years in a row. He's been a heartthrob on telenovelas on Univision and Televisa for years. He finished third on Dancing with the Stars in 2012. And now he's starring in Addicted, a new sexy movie coming out Friday, October 10th. Please welcome Mr. William Levy to the VIP room on Fox News Latino. Thank you Thank so you much man. for being Thank here. Thank you so much. So my first question is, it has to be exhausting to be this good looking. Right? Like, it's, it's an exhausting it. thing. You know about that. I know. I'm <laughs> consistently tired. Anyway, I know you're doing the press round, and we really appreciate you coming in. You know, you've got this movie coming out. It's based on the best-selling author's book, right? Yeah. Zane is the author. She's had 14 New York Times best-selling books on these yes. romance, erotica-type movies. Crazy. Sexy, crazy. Yeah. This movie's about a mother. She has kids, and she's addicted to, well, exactly. having sex, right? She, she has a perfect life. Perfect family, perfect kids, perfect house. You know, everything perfect. And, uh... She's, uh, she's dying to represent my, 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 my character. He's an artist. So once they meet, uh, they have this deep connection. And um, they, they let themselves go to, you know, into their addiction, into their um, temptation. So when she, you know, when she tries to go get help, uh, You're not making it easy to get late. help. It's kind of a little bit of, too you late. Know, late. So okay. now they're, in too, they're, they're too deep into this. And he's not willing to let her go. This know? movie has Sharon Leal, Boris mm. Kojo. Tyson, uh, Tyson Beckford. Beckford and you. Yeah. Um, are you excited about this? Is it, has this like opened up new things for you, or is this the same kind of role you've done before? Was this no, different? No, no, it's, no, it's no. very different. It's oh. very different. Actually, um, that's why I wanted to do it because you, you're gonna see a different me. You're gonna see. Uh, I haven't done anything like this in my career before. No. No, it has. Uh, when you see it, you're gonna see why. You know, I can't tell you why because it will be uh, revealing. You know, the um, well, uh, the, the twist of <laughs> okay, the movie. You okay. know, but. It's great because my character, Rikins, you know, he has, he has so many different layers, you know, and, and as the story goes on, you start to see this dark side that he had, this dark past that he had, you know, and, and now things start, when she decides to leave uh, and he's not willing to let her go, things get a little ugly. Okay. I, I can't tell. Well, you speaking of, well, let's, I mean, there's got to be, there's got to be a lot of sex in this movie based on the book. I have yeah, a question it's a very for you. erotic. It's a very know, erotic, movie, okay. Of course. Sex scenes, awkward or fun? No, they're always uh, they're a always little what? bit uh, <laughs> uncomfortable at the beginning. You know, it's uncomfortable. You know, but you know, you work on it. You you get through that. You, you know, work on it. You got you got the director there. You got the you know a good partner there. So you get through that, man. You know, you got to work on that. We've talked a lot about. Well, we've talked about this new role for you, right? Yeah. The last four years have been big for you, man. We had the Jennifer Lopez, um, the I'm Into You music video that yeah. came out. You're on all those commercials for Eminem and Eminem and for Pepsi, and yeah. and then you also did Dancing with the Stars in 2012. You're on these magazines. That was crazy, by that, the way. Which was crazy, by the <laughs> way. Third is a good finish. Oof. Are you? What's the next four years going to be? I mean, you've been this heartthrob. Are you comfortable with continuing to be? No, the hearthrug. I, I don't like that, man. Actually, I'm an actor. You know, I, li I like to 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 interpret, you know, a, a character, not really being seen like a good-looking guy. Really? You know? Yeah, I don't like that. You know, uh, I really, I mean, I'm not a model, man. I'm an actor. You know, so when people is like, oh, he's good-looking, so it's know. it's kind you know? of annoying. I, I prefer hearing someone. He's good. He's a good actor. You know, like that's what I do. That's what I love. So that's that's the end goal four years from now. I mean, that's yeah. that's weird. I mean, if we were to say four years from now, you wanted to continue to be about your acting. And yeah, yeah, of course. My whole life has been about that. You know, I mean, I started modeling, but it was like a door for me to begin, you know, acting and then start acting, start doing what I really like to do. You've been called the Cuban Brad Pitt. Does that annoy you? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Flat out, right? Yeah, yeah. Is it is it because of the modeling thing, or is it because you just because I have my own name? <laughs> you know. I, <laughs> It gets annoying. Yeah, it gets, you know, I'm not, I'm not Brad Pitt. He's a great guy, man. I mean, I can't be him. He's too much for me, you know, so I, let, let me be me. Well, let me ask you about, you talked about more of the acting thing. Who do you look into, who do you look, like, look up to? It's not Brad Pitt. As yeah. an actor, you, you look at, you see. No, he's a great somebody. man. He yeah, has yeah. a great career. That guy is awesome, you know. He's, <laughs> you know, he's unique. And, um, you know, I look at, uh, I look at um, Andy Garcia, because I used to see him. I used to watch him when I was back in Cuba, you know, when he was doing uh, uh, The Godfather 3. And uh, I, I saw the movie in Cuba, and I saw him, and I, you know, I knew he was Cuban. And I'm like, if he, if he made it, you know? I mean, why can't I make it? Right. So, you know, I used to see him, and you know, why, that's why I admire him a lot, you know? And I wish one day I can work with him. Al Pacino, you know, I love his work. Those are your guys. Yeah, I love his work. He's, he's great, man. 
So let's talk about a little bit about your past, though, right? You were in a lot of telenovelas. Everybody knows you as knew you as because now you're, you're becoming that more and more actor, and in the, in the, you're crossing over. Yeah. Cuidado, cuidado con el ángel, Sertelijo, I mean, all of these, right? Yeah. Is it? Do you want to go back to telenovelas, or is that in your past? Uh, if I have a chance to go and do something uh, short, not so long, you know, telenovelas take nine months. Wow. They're not like American telenovelas. It's very different. You know, telenovelas, American telenovelas, they just go forever. You know, it's a soap opera. They go forever and ever. Latin in soap operas, they, they, they're they like a TV series, but a long TV series. They last six months in the year, you know, so, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work into that. So, you know, you want to spend, you know, you have different stages of your life. You know Do you that? find yourself like when you're acting in a, in a, in a movie, trying to take, do you, do you use sort of the same kind of things that you use as an actor in a telenovela? Or is it completely, just a t completely it's different ballgame? different, game. you know, when you work on TV, you're working against the time. When you work in the movies, you're working to, to, to give something true. You know, it's more about, you know, you're concentrating on your work. And when you work in TV, you're concentrating on the time. <laughs> it's it's well, let two me, different things. Like, we gotta go, we gotta run, right, we gotta go. Right, right, right. Look, Dalia was on uh, El Yolo de la Flaca, and apparently she, they kind of threw a question out there, like, look, $20 million, Talia, who is the queen of telenovelas, she stopped in like 1999. They're like, Talia, would you come back for $20 million and have William Levy as your hunk? And she's like, okay, well, if I have William Levy, I might think about coming back. <laughs> would, if Talia says, let's, let's do something, would you maybe uh, consider We've talked then? about it. We've yeah? seen each other. I mean, we, we've seen each other in a lot of events and stuff. We, we yeah. have a good relationship, you know, and, um, and we said if we have a chance, it's hard sometimes, you know, she has her stuff, I have my stuff. But, we'll but if we have a chance that we can probably um do something together and sound? it's short you know not long <laughs> short not is long. really the, it can that's be what long, we try man. to do you know because okay. she has a lot of things i have a lot of things so you know it can be like nine months in, in a photo you know in a studio you can't do that anymore right your life changes you know well i know your life you have two beautiful kids you'd like to keep your life personal you're very yes. good at that your instagram has a lot of photos of you and a lot of people love the fact that you got a lot of photos of you and you try not to put too many photos out there. There's a lot of things happening with the fappening with a lot of photos of Jennifer Lawrence and Kim Kardashian, nude oh, photos yeah. being put out there. I mean, is that worry about? I mean, what do you think about that as somebody as a private man when you see stuff like that? That's got to freak you out even more with these photos. Yeah, being of late. course, man. Now you can't have sex on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, facts. I mean, that's fun. I mean, of course, you got to We got to be honest. But now you, you're scared to do that. <laughs> Oh my God! So not so not something you ever worry about. You ever worry? If there, is there something? No, that I'm should starting be? to worry about that. Are you? Are you now? <laughs> With all these speeches coming out. <laughs> At least you're honest. This is good. This is good. By the way, expanding roles. You've got a big gay following. Yeah. Ever think about getting into a gay role? Uh, I don't know. I have to see. I have to see. Uh, I'm not against that. You're not against not it? All. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, I'm an action. I would like to uh, anything that you can prove uh, or show an emotion or show someone. You know or inspire someone, you know, I mean, you can, you have to do it, and I like to do that, so, I don't know, I will have to see roles in the future. Ultimately, you want to be known as that actor, right, in the movies, and that's what, that's what yeah. you're going at, right, I mean, and so we can expect over the next four or five years that your brand is going to be changing one, that's what you want, right? Yes, Ultimately. of course, yeah, I mean, we, we're looking into different projects right now, and, um, you know, I love action, of course, but I do want to do uh, different things in my career, so we've been trying to, uh, you know, choose the right projects. Perfect. And bottom line is, you live in Miami. I know you're from Miami. Baseball yeah. fan. Miami Marlins is going to come back next year and win the World Series. We know this. Come on, man. Everybody we, knows this. Marlins, we are your fans. We got to do it. We got to do it, man. Two of we need some fans better right players here. That's what I'm saying. Who wins the World Series this year? Are you uh, even watching? I know this is happening. I'm going to go I with the I haven't watched for the last three, uh, yeah. three days, so I don't okay. know if the Dodgers are still in. <laughs> the Dodgers are out. Uh -huh. Our boys are out. But we'll go, we'll go with the Giants. I'm going with the Giants. I think you should go with the Giants. We're Marlins yeah, fans. Yeah, I mean. We'll you were yeah. you were a ball player yeah. in college, yeah, right? Giants, I mean, uh, you were a ball player yeah, in Cuba. Great team. I mean, you were a ball player in Cuba. You know. That. Yeah, you know. I used to play baseball. Yeah, you used to play baseball in Miami. Life. Yeah, I played for St. Thomas University. Got a scholarship there. That's the only way. I, I, that was the only reason why I went to, to university. Because <laughs> I didn't have the money to pay for it. It wasn't your good looks. We know. <laughs> that. I had to hit that ball hard, man. But <laughs> well, look, your movie is coming out on Friday. Addicted. Make sure uh, Friday, October 10th. Make sure that you watch this film. William Levy is coming out and doing really big and new things. He's excited about it. We are happy that you came to the VIP Thank room. You, man. Thank We're you. excited about seeing what's happening in the future. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. And for more stuff, just continue to come to foxnewslatino.com. Take care.